I am a gamer, now on PC, but before as a teenager on the first Xbox. In this time, one of my favorite licenses was Halo with this gunfight and atypical vehicle which was revolutionary for the time. In 2017, I decided to build a LEGO version of the legendary Warthog, with motorization at big scale. Then, I published the creation and get great feedbacks from the community, but there were no instructions. Today is the day why I correct that, by proposing you a pro-looking building instruction for the Warthog in Transporter version, and this is the occasion to talk more about the function and secret of this creation. So let's go! So, this is a LEGO Technic replica of the Warthog M12 from the Halo license. It features all-wheel drive, all-wheel stair, double wishbone suspension, low cable differential, motorized turret and opening element. It is built around the off-road tire of 107mm, which gives a scale of 1 to 11 for 53 cm long, 26 cm wide, 30 cm high, with four motors for a total of 1839 pieces. Let's jump on the function. The motorized functions are operated by an IR remote and two IR receivers, which are powered by a LiPo battery. The drive is operated by two XL motors with differential on each axle. Each motor is connected to one axle. Thanks to all well steering, there is no need to have a central differential. The drive train is different than other supercars because of the space between the double wishbone suspension. It was a time where the EVCV join or the geared hub do not exist. So, I use standard portal hub with gearing reduction, with double wishbone suspension and two oscillating bevel gearing for the fixation in the chassis. This combination explains why the differential is not located between the suspension but in the chassis. The differential can be locked using a M motor, which drive a lever and connecting rod, which pull and push a lever connected to the change of a catch of the differential. Pretty simple, but was great, even if this model is a bit heavy to make proper trial track. The suspension are made with independent double wishbone suspension, like on the Warthog in Halo 4, but not as the previous with oscillating longitudinal trailing arm. I have tried to reproduce this trailing arm, but it was not enough rigid to enable correct driving. The steering is operated by a servo motor located between the feet and operates the two axles thanks to gearing and rack and pinion. It ensures a good turning radius and no need for a central differential. The steering wheel is not connected to the steering due to the lack of space between the bodywork. To finish with the turret, it is operated by a M motor located inside, the main gun is put in rotation by the motor, and the movement is also transferred underneath with a warm gearing, which drives a lever on connecting rod, attached to a lever with a gear on the turntable. Thanks to that, when the turret is operated, the cannon rotates, but the turret also oscillates from left to right. It was a way to connect a continuously motion, the gun, to an oscillating motion, the turret, with only one motor. But it can cause some jam in the functioning because of the vibration and the compact integration. That is why I have then removed this function on the transporter version. Some words about the bodywork. I have tried to reproduce the complex shape of the bodywork, including the hood, mudguard, roof and particularly shape of the side panel. It is done by using panel on beam, which are connected to the chassis using multiple orientation connectors. These paneling bodywork are part of the structure, like the roof, which is connected to the windshield, and side B pillar, which is very sturdy. You can take the warthog by the roof without taking apart. Regarding the opening port, the hood can be opened to show the hydrogen engine, no moving engine from LEGO here, and behind another panel to show the LiPo battery. At the rear, the trunk can be opened to show the IRE receiver, turret and there are also small jerry cans which can be removed. Of course, the interior is also equipped with seat dashboard in order to fit the original design. 
Regarding the color theme, I have chosen to make it black, even if the real warthog is more a dark green, with some addition of lime on the bodywork to give the military touch. Of course, you can easily change this part for any other color, like orange, blue and so on, depending on the warthog you want. Some years ago, a fan sent me a 3D file he made on LDD Designer of the Warthog with some modification. It was the starting point to rework the model and then propose a pro-looking instruction. So first, I removed the turret for reliability reason and replaced by a closed bed. Then, I reworked the structures and modernized some assembly. For instance, the cable management with relocated motor and IRE receiver to remove four 25 cm extension cable. I removed also some expensive parts like the front metal hook or rough flexible axle and connectors and with the help of four lock mock we make the instruction. Here is the result, a Warthog M12 in the transporter version. The function on the drive steering, locking differential, suspension are unchanged, as well as the opening element to see the engine and the battery box, except the rear truck which has been fixed without the jerry can with the completely redesigned bed. It measures now 50 cm long, 26 cm wide, 19 cm high, for a total of 1607 pieces. To conclude, I am pretty happy with this model. Even six years later, I think the function is still interesting with the particular drivetrain and steering. The design is still gorgeous to me, which brings a lot of good memory from the Halo franchise. It is always nice to me to propose an updated version for all creation with instruction that I did not made always by the time. And it is fun to see that this big vehicle only contains 1607 pieces, a good ratio of space per part. So. If you are interested by the instruction, I let you check the link in the description. Feel free to comment. Take care, play well, bye.